Hello there, and welcome to Dr. T for October the 7th. We are coming at you with some skanks. Not the kind you pick up in the club, but the kind that you load on to your boats. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> we're, we're stage one, pretty easy. Go up to where I flared my tanks. Your your tanks will be able to take out a few really low level defenses. Hopefully, you shouldn't have any problems, and then you can take out the HQ from there. Stage two, almost the exact same thing. Flared to almost the exact same stage. Wait, no, that's right. I changed my mind. I, I was looking at it and I was like, you know what? I gotta go over to the right hand side. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't give anyone motion sickness. That would be totes awkward. Just sitting on the bus watching a video and then... Anyways. Um, <laughs> the skanks do the same thing. Don't worry. Oh. Hi. Alright. Uh, attack of the puppy. Don't worry. Coming up the right hand side. Take out the, the, the defenses. When you do finally get into range of the cannon. Shock the cannon. The good news is if you set your tanks up right up here, you're not in range of the cannon or the sniper tower and you can take out the HQ with relative safety. Moving on to number three. This time we are going on the right hand side. Don't worry, I swear I'm not going to flare to the exact opposite side of the island just to burn a minute and a half while my tanks walk around. I am going to drop critters though because I'm flaring my tanks straight up through, but if you drop critters you can let your tanks come along the right hand side, take out all of these defenses, build you up a mountain of GBE, and then you can use that GBE on, uh, uh, well, the, there's nothing you have to use the GBE on. I guess a few shocks around the HQ if you if you want to be really fancy. Somebody's got to go to the party. And it's not me. Nope, nope, not me. Alright, um, so go along the very top. Your, your tanks will actually naturally travel along the right path. And then I realized, you know what, the stupid sniper tower has range. So just flare right onto the snooper, sniper tower. Throw a shock down on the rocket launcher, sniper tower and machine gun and what you can do with your tanks is just blow up those three defenses and then flare them all the way right up into the corner and when i say right into the corner i mean right into the corner i just wanted to see if the tanks would go in there and if they did if they'd stay there and they do it's kind of awesome nothing can hit you up there you're totally safe on to stage four now if you normally take out stage four and just barely i am so sorry but this stage four is crazy insane. So I took out with artillery the boom cannon and the touching sniper tower, and then used barrage to clear out all those mines. I suggest you do something along the same, because you don't want those boom mines getting a hold of your poor tanks. It will do horrible, horrible things. And then I, I threw a shock down on the sniper towers in an effort to go through. Now I did do this with three tanks because that's my normal go-to. I just landed the three tanks and I got there. And I got up to the HQ and I was firing on the HQ and nothing could hit me, but all three of my tanks were like, they were red. They were really low hit points and I was just like, you know what? <sighs> I don't, I don't have the heart to do this. And, like, I could have finished it, but I was like, alright, let's try this again in different ways. And I tried a couple different ways, and it always resulted in my poor tanks just getting the poop kicked out of them. So, I decided to drop the two boats to emphasize how hard this level is. Now, the good thing is, by increasing the number of tanks I have, as you can see, my tanks are doing way, way better. Because, with numbers, numbers actually matter with tanks. Uh, along with every other troop, obviously, but it spl it splits the shots from the defenses up, and it makes life a little easier. Now, here's the good thing. If you were able to take out Stage 4, you can definitely take out Stage 5. Stage 5, 100% easier than Stage 4. Again, there's no boom cannons, nothing we really need to worry about, so throw some barrage down on the sniper tower, take out the, the mines around there and whatnot, throw a few artillery over towards this cannon. Now, uh, artillery or barrage, like, whatever, whatever you have available, 
throw that in that direction and it will do fantastic things because once you do that you've got a couple of mines and a couple of machine guns and then you can park yourself down in the exact same corner in the very bottom there and none of the cannon sniper towers or anything can reach you just one lonely rocket launcher and you know what not a big deal if your tanks have made it that far you're laughing if you have medics you're even laughing more hysterically laughing let's say now yes i am taking out all this stuff with gbe but that's only because i wanted to toss some critters down and have a party and then for some reason some of the critters went off to the machine i don't know anyways um but like i was saying with the with the tanks uh when you can kind of divert some of the defensive firing onto different units it prevents any one of them from getting too low plus you, if you can get like a rolling wave you get a nice little refresh i don't know i'm not gonna go into it sorry but yeah numbers matter all right stage six landing on the right hand side well all right we are definitely landing on the right hand side uh <laughs> Throw some GBE down. Sorry, somebody is playing with all of his puppy friends in the mirror. Uh, throw some GBE down on the boom cannons. And, well, specifically the one right next to the HQ. Like, not to the east of it, but to the west. Like, I guess it would be at like 9 o'clock, that one. The, the hurt one. Blow that one up. The other one you can shock and just let your skanks kind of roll all up in there. Uh, you know, as if it were a nightclub. And they... A anyways. Uh, and then if you have the GBE, blow up the other boom cannon. And throw some shocks on the sniper towers. And just let your, your skanks do what skanks do. And spread the burning sensation. I'm talking about the Scorchers. So once you're done with all of that, pull everything over to the right hand side. Fortunately, you should be out of range of pretty much everything that hurts and you'll be able to take down the HQ with like a rocket launcher or two firing at you. But honestly, who cares about that? Psh, certainly not the skanks. Okay, stage six down. Now, what you've been dreading or looking forward to, stage seven. Once again, we're rolling skanks today, just just because that's what happened to be loaded in. Sorry. Uh, land. Wham. Right hand side with all of your skanky goodness. And guess what? Yeah. If you were able to take out six, you're going to be able to take out seven. Because, quite frankly, seven is a breeze. It's almost like four and five. If you could take out four, you could definitely take out five. If you take out six, you can definitely take out seven. Seven is easy, six is hard. You can do the math, I'm sure. I, I know the skanks were able to. Actually, I, I think seven might have even been easier than six because I, I did lose a skank actually on six due to, uh, well, I'm not sure what that was. I'm gonna say, uh, I don't know, drunken misbehavior. I. I'm dead sober. I, I don't know. All right. So <laughs> moving up the right-hand side, uh, the, the skanks have had a few drinks, but that's okay. That's how they do. And then come in at the HQ. Pretty much everything over here on the left, you can leave kind of puttering around with the scorchers. There's not really any point in doing anything with it if you if you really want you can throw some shocks over here to the cannons and the sniper towers but all of those things are going to just be busy pecking away at your scorchers while your tanks which is your real dps just unleashes wave after wave of awesome all over dr t's hq front door awesome as in like egging i don't know could be egging Maybe it's Halloween. Actually, it's the right month. It's going to happen. It'll be a thing. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully this has been entertaining. And most importantly, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day.